The Basenji dog breed, which originated in Africa, was born in the Congo. Originally, it was used to lure animals into nets for hunting. To hunt, these dogs use both their senses of scent and sight. These days, they also make fantastic living furry family members. Are you thinking about getting a Basenji puppy? The top 10 facts about the Basenji are revealed in this video. So you can see if this dog is the right fit for you. In the list of the top 10 facts about the Basenji at number 10, we have the oldest domesticated dog breed. Because the Basenji is one of the earliest domesticated dog breeds, he may not bark during hunts. People in the past may have desired a peaceful dog. Like his wild cousin, the wolf, the Basenji will bark once before going silent. It's also conceivable he's only partially tamed. Some African tribes regarded a good hunting Basenji as more valuable than a wife, not only for his hunting ability, but also for his resourcefulness and ingenuity. Next on the list. At number 9 we have, living with the Basenji needs patience. Patience and a sense of humor are required when living with a Basenji. Whatever is within his reach, he will chew up or consume. He is capable of establishing a strategy to accomplish his goals. It doesn't matter if it's getting up on the kitchen counter or breaking into the pantry to grab the dog biscuits. He can be aloof around people, so don't trust him with cats or other small animals unless he was raised with them and you know he knows them as family. However, the recognition would not extend to cats or small animals he encounters outside. They are up for grabs. Next on the list at number 8 we have, the Basenji is a sighthound. The Basenji is a smart, self-sufficient dog that is also affectionate and alert. He is a sighthound, which means anything moving attracts his interest and he will chase it. Rabbits, squirrels, and cats. He isn't the type of dog who obeys commands right away. He'll have to think about them and decide if he really wants to do what you've asked. Next on the list. At 7, we have, Skilled Thief. The Basenji, being a hunting dog, requires daily activity. Some Basenjis can get by with only a daily straw, while others require more rigorous activity. He is not a dog who should be left alone in the backyard. He is an expert thief, and an unsupervised Basenji can easily become a lost Basenji. If you give him a couple of 30-minute walks or play sessions every day, he'll be okay in an apartment or condo. Next on the list. At number 6, we have, the Basenji needs training and socialization. From an early age, Basenji puppies must be socialized and taught. They will become shy, just like any other dog, if they are not properly socialized and introduced to a range of people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they are young. It is a good idea to enroll your younger Basenji in a puppy kindergarten program to guarantee that your Basenji puppy develops into a well-balanced adult dog. Bringing friends over on a regular basis, as well as introducing your Basenji to crowded parks, dog-friendly shops, and leisurely strolls to meet neighbors, will help him enhance his social skills. Next on the list. At number 5 we have, Basenjis are susceptible to some health issues. Although all breeds are susceptible to various health difficulties, Basenjis are relatively safe. Find a good breeder who can show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents if you're considering getting one. When purchasing a puppy, health clearances show that the dog has been tested for and cleared of a certain disease. Next on the list. At number 4 we have, Basenjis fear rain. Always keep your Basenji on a leash and don't rely on a fence to keep him contained unless you're in a secure gated area. A chain-link fence will serve as a ladder, while a wood fence will just serve as a deterrent. Another feline trait is the Basenji's dislike of rain. He will be grumpy if you take him for a stroll while it is raining. He would only want to get wet on an extremely hot day. Next on the list. At number 3 we have, make grooming a pleasurable activity. Trim your dog's nails on a regular basis if they don't break down naturally. It will protect your legs from scratching. Make grooming a fun experience for your Basenji, along with praise and rewards, and he'll be ready for routine veterinary checks and other handling when he gets older. Next on the list. At number 2 we have, suitable companions for older children. While Basenjis aren't known for their fondness for children, 
Their high energy level makes them ideal companions for older children. If they will be around children, it is preferable if they have grown up with them. Next on the list. At number 1, we have, the Basenji needs plenty of regular exercise. The Basenji's light frame, which has been compared to that of a deer, makes him unsuitable for carrying extra weight. To put it another way, don't let him gain weight. To maintain his body in shape, measure the needed food and feed him twice a day rather than putting food out all the time. The rest should be taken care of by ensuring that he gets plenty of exercise on a daily basis. What did you think of this video? If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. So you will not miss any new videos and will be able to learn more about dogs on a daily basis. You should also check out the links in the description if you're interested in dog brain training and other training methods. We also have a free Basenji training ebook you might be interested in. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch and see you next time.